Hello, everybody! Ikuzo, it is me, Kobayashi, your palm tree friend. How is everybody doing? Hope you are well. There has been a lot of new features added to the game since the 6th anniversary. Some of them are a little bit confusing, especially if you cannot read Japanese. One of those is the synchro function, which we will have a look at today. We should have got compensation in our gift box for any character that we have over the top 20 already maxed out. Nice gems is going in there. But today we'll be just looking at how to rank up all of our characters with the synchro function and have a little talk about it. Is it really a good thing? Now what you want to be doing is having a look for characters in your gift box that have this orange synchro little tag on them because that means there's something in there you can do for free. Now we can do all characters individually if you want to. So we'll uh, pick some Hiyori here and you can see this orange synchro on them. If it's pink, that means they've still got a bit of their own growth orb on them to go and you need to use that first before you can use the synchro function but it's just the same as a growth orb go in there max out there we go to 31 all of that equipment we're going to be getting all of the refinements on the equipment too and level so we do here that levels are up to full level 295 which is the max i have at the moment the level cap hasn't gone up We'll come to that in a minute and then if you go in here we can get refinements for free as well but doing that for every single character is going to be maybe a little bit time consuming so they have got this function down here to do 20 at a time now this is where the confusion <laughs> comes in and it's a little bit confusing because there is this button here up at the top right which selects 20 characters first 20 characters there and as you can see it's using mana this just doesn't pick characters that are free only. So we'd be wary if you use that button there, if you're only trying to do the free characters. So we'll get rid of that. As you can see here, we have some characters which have got the orange synchro tag on them. These are ones that have got free upgrades on them already. See here, Ori is still there. She has some free refinement upgrades to do. So I found out the best way to do this is first, you come here over onto the left and hit this rank up button down here. Now you can change the rank here to which rank you want. If you put it to rank 32, it would cost money, it would cost resources to upgrade the character. So be wary about that. So keep it at rank 31 to start with. And now you can see only characters that are not rank 31 are here. You can use this. We can get the top 20 and we can rank them up. So we'll keep an eye on, um, we'll keep an eye on Summer Akino there, the first one, we'll, as, as our example. So we do this, we go OK, and it'll do all 20 of them, and now they are all ranked up. But you can see some of them are not max level. So then what we need to do is click the button above it, and then on this second button, you make sure you have all three of these tick boxes ticked, because these will do blank rank, they will do equipment and they will do refinement. This last button that we don't have ticked is for use of ores. That's only if you're paying for the upgrade, so we don't want that one ticked. And now we can pick 20 characters. But again, on this screen, you're going to have to be careful not to pick characters that have um, not got this orange synchro on them. So where are we at? Where are we at? We need to get some Aquino in there. And we can pick 20 characters and then if they are all ranked up we do all the rank ups first click ok and then for free because as you can see there's no mana cost in there they are now all maximum level 295 so it is kind of that simple so can we find a kino in here somewhere a kino where is she there she is so now look she is now rank 31, um, five re re pieces of equipment on it, all refined, level 295, which is the height of my top 25. Now then, this is here permanently, and that means we're only going to have to upgrade 20 characters to the new rank 32-3, and the new level cap, which, what was it, five, six, about 298, I believe it would be, and then we can bring everybody back up with us um, for free. 
Now, is this really a good thing or not? Because I've been thinking about this and, well, it's taken away a lot of the grinding in the game, which is, which is part of maybe what maybe people get a lot of uh, sense of achievement out of, being able to grind the characters up and uh, level up and then use them. XP potions and growth orbs now maybe don't have as much use. We're not going to use as much mana, which might be a good thing. We're supposed to be, I've seen, I've seen people talking about these um, growth orbs that you will be able to transfer them for astral shards. I've seen, as you can see here, I have these some of these growth orbs here. Doesn't seem to be in the game at the moment. Maybe that will appear at some time. But is it really a good thing? We're going to definitely need it for some of the modes in the game, the deep quest areas and that, when we want to use the um, attribute teams, because there wasn't that many on the teams. If we go in here and just have a look, for example, at water, there really isn't that many characters there to build a team out of. So it was definitely needed for that. But is it going to take away some of the sense of, of achievement? We're also not getting star levels here either, which means there's still going to have to be some ranking up to do. And two star, two star Christmas Karumi, is she really going to work even though she's got max equipment? We're gonna need to get a lot more shards for these characters. Some people are probably gonna think this update is really good and really enjoy it, but over time, I don't know if it might take some of the enjoyment out of the game. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. That was a quick little look through a guide on how to do this synchro thing. Remember, it's there permanently. Once you get 20 characters up to the next level of rank and level cap, then you can build everyone else up to that, which means a lot less equipment is really going to need to be ground out, a lot less EXP potions too. So let me know what you think of this synchro feature. I am Takori Yashi, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all again for... Another video! Bye 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 bye! Hey!